Let's discuss a case study about Kota, educational hub for coaching institute for ITTs, IIM, medical. What's the issue? There are about 10 dozen coaching centers in the town, including big ones such as Allen Career Institute, Resonance, Bansol Classes, Vibrant Motion, IIT, JEE, and Career Point. 1.5 lakh plus students comes for coaching. Students live in rented rooms with minimal facilities. Neither coaching centers nor hostels have exit policies or refunds. Kota has now become a byword for student homicide. Nearly one-fifth of the students who arrive are girls. When a visitor enters the town, he or she is greeted with billboards, banners, and neon-lit signs featuring teachers, flaunting their credentials and boasting their credibility to deliver results. The real estate market is booming in Kota thanks to these institutions. In Jawahar Nagar, a hub for hostels, land prices have jumped from 700 rupees per square feet about a decade ago to 3,500 rupees per square feet now. City lack good infrastructure in some colonies, specifically around coaching institutes. Every nook and corner, even bricks on sewage lines, have food stalls where the children of India eat, kachori and poha are regular breakfasts for students. One of the best things which Kota offers to students is the competition. Yes, it is tough, but it is worth it. Toppers do succeed, but wake up folks, toppers are 30 in the crowd of 30,000. Let's discuss about student housing in Kota. Most of the hostel lack basic amenities, and students often fall prey to diseases such as jaundice, malaria, etc. However, with the growing competition, conditions are improving, but not up to the mark they should be. Some hostels even provide food to the students, but the quality of food is again not in sync with the money they charge, and it really lacks the nutrition as well as a taste component. Bad food and mess, as well as tiffin, are very costly. Feeling of boredom and loneliness. No Wi-Fi and lack of cleanliness. House owners is chick. Bad atmosphere, students smoke, drink, etc. in some areas. You cannot play outdoor games due to high pressure to compete. Rough estimate 4,000 plus hostels or PG are currently running in Kota. In AC hostels, including food, average rates vary between 10,000 to 14,000 per month, excluding electricity, which you have to pay separately. For non-AC hostels and PG, Rates vary between 8,000 to 12,000 per month, including electricity. It includes food cost also. As far as hostels and PG are concerned, never trust a auto rickshawala for a hostel and PG. Living in a city far away from home, you must see whether there is proper security available in the hostel or not. Especially for the female students, the security is a major concern for the parents. So. Getting into IITs is a path to success, but it's not the only one. The main thing here is not IIT, it's you. IITs provide wonderful platform to build your dreams and passion are paramount whether they include IIT or not. 